Hi, this is Danielle Moore with Teaching One More, and I wanted to take a minute to look at some fourth grade work. So the teacher has posed a problem here at the top of the page, and it's a typical division problem. But we see that students, or we're going to see that students are developing their own ways of making sense of this problem. So for example, on this first problem, there are 400 students at blank school, 20 students can fit into a classroom. How many classrooms will the school need? This student broke it apart by using repeated addition and adding groups of 20. Here they multiply 20 by 20 to get a total of 400. So they solved this division problem by using repeated addition and or multiplication. Typically, we would tell students, use division to solve a division problem, but this student is sort of implicitly understanding the relationship between division and multiplication. In the same classroom, on the same day, we see another student who is using repeated subtraction to solve the problem. Again, students make sense of problems in ways that make sense to them and although we as adults might not solve the problem or think about the problem the way that they do students do bring to the table a lot of mathematical understanding and we see that come to light when we give them the opportunities so this student repeatedly subtracted groups of 20 and then went back and circled all of their groups of 20 to find that they had a total of 20 classrooms Again, in the same classroom, on the same day, we see another student who used all of the problem type numbers to solve. And in this one, they realize the relationship between that two. That two really represents a 10, but they can break it apart and multiply two by two to get four, and then add back that 10 back on. And it's hard to see, but what they wrote here is 20 times 20 equals 400. Add a zero to each two. Again, the student used a different number set, 550 and 25, and used a different strategy to solve this problem. They broke it apart by groups of 100, and then adding on groups of 25 to get their total. When students are allowed to solve problems using strategies that make sense to them, we see that they develop flexible thinking and multiple perspectives and ways of problem solving. This is Danielle Moore with Teaching One More. Please log in in the future to find more ways of creating confident and competent problem solvers.